Hello, Hello and welcome back to those two Brits. Today we're in Borton on the Water. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. This is basically it's the best place in the Cotswolds. This one awards for it like has. the prettiest town or village in the Cotswolds, so we had to visit. We're here to like explore, have a walk and we're here to walk up and down, have an explore, show you guys around, mm -hmm. and yeah, see what it's got to offer really. Yeah, let's just crack straight on. We are here, we're in Borton on the water. We are. On the water or on water? On the water. See, we'd say just on water, but they say on the water. Yeah. They have this thing in, like, near where I live, they say, is it Stratford on Avon or Stratford upon Avon? I thought it was so, upon. Upon. I think it is, but then I think the locals are like Stratford on Avon. Oh, on, yeah, on they, just like, they just mumble it. They just mumble it, yeah. So, Borton on the water. The water. Leah's wanted ha a hat like this for a while. We found a hat shop. My, my hat, Can you? Yes, let's go have a look. The floppy one. one. Or the boater one. Hat, but I'm also really feeling Which ones? I mean, I'll show you in a second. Oh no, hon. You look like uh, someone who rows a boat. Really? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> You're right. I'm not. just not it's sure not it's it. you. It's not it. It's not it. It needs to be the floppy bottom. I yeah. Mean, it's, it's cute, but it's not it. It's also quite masculine. Okay, yeah. It's a bit boyish. Like <laughs> yeah. No, they need to be wide and floppy. A wide brim. So what about so that? You can't see me. Too cowboy, too Texas. Too Texas. That's We're not in Texas, Texas anymore. Now. Mm. They've got to have more inside. Yeah, let's have a look inside. Some huge flop, job. Okay, huge yeah. flop. Right, no luck, no luck finding the floppy hat. But we tried. No luck with the hat. No no, exactly. the, the brims weren't big enough. <laughs> no, I can't really help this. It it's so job. busy. Look, it's like busy with cars, busy with humans. Oh, bakery. Just spotted this sold sign, so just wanted to see what was on the market. Oh, this lovely little cottage. I wonder how much that was. Hmm, I reckon hundreds of thousands. Look at this, the Victorian Christmas shop. It's all year round, even though it's July. You know it's a quaint English village when there's a 24-7 oh, Christmas, Christmas shop. shop. Wow. I wonder wow. if they like do a sale when it's not Christmas. So you Probably. Can get all Christmas stuff in there. Yeah, Woo. I reckon. Look at all these jams, what have we got? Blackberry and apple, rhubarb and ginger. Just got all of them. All local. This is known as the Venice of the Cotswolds because of these rivers and little bridges. I can smell garlic bread oh, and I like it. You like it. Oh, I smell garlic bread. It does smell nice to be fair. Look how beautiful. this place is for sale but it is a retirement property so sadly we can't buy it this one is so nice sorry I have cleaned the lens I don't know why it's because it's, it's flaring with the Sun right taste test oh it's very nice your phone who's calling you we want that house yeah. Come on a walk with our ice creams. Yeah. It's lovely around here. Just wanted to have a look at some of the properties. Mm. Saying, like, so this is off the beaten track, so this isn't like the touristy bit. This is like where people actually live. Only moments away. Yeah, literally the, the, high the high street is just the other side of these. Mm. And it's quiet. It is. No one, no one comes off the beaten track. Mm. That's what we all need to do when we go traveling. Mm. Just go off the beaten track. Maybe that's what the channel should have been called. Yeah, yeah, off the beaten track. Damn it. Very American to have seats outside porch, on yeah. the porch to judge people as they go by. And a giant pear. <laughs> <laughs> that is We've literally just taken this little pathway and we don't know where we are. Wow. We're now just in the countryside. We're literally moments away from the high street. Literally, the houses were just behind there. Here? But you think you're in a little... Ow! I just stung myself on the nettles. Oh. Ah. You know why nettles sting? Why? So back in the day, that was how we would warm themselves up. By stinging themselves. Stinging themselves with that. It's like, Ew! Oh, stinging. It horrible. stings. Isn't that awful? That is awful. The classic thing where they're like, find a dock leaf. Find a, yeah. They don't grow. There they are. Rub it. 
Yeah, dock leaf. There's right. one. I'm gonna film Joel doing his dock leaf. He's, the answers are always in nature, Joel. I can't even bend this way. You poor thing. Oh, gosh. That's better. Okay, well done. That genuinely is better. Nature's oh, amazing. Nature is incredible, isn't it? <laughs> what an exhausting what day for Joel. It's exhausting. What's it? This is what it's like being Joel Wood, guys. It's really tough. And we're trying to find a property to buy. We're looking round. Yeah, trying to find, trying to find one, something round here. Can we afford it? No, we can't. No, it's fine. We're going to use a very creative tool. We are. We absolutely are. We'll talk about that in another video. Yeah. We'll keep you guys posted. To posted. Toasted. 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 So if you want some quiet, just moments away from the high street, just go to where the houses are. Yeah, go behind them. And you get this lovely field. There's cows in this field over there. Imagine living in one of those houses, that their garden and their conservatories back onto the field. Like you were saying, Joel, there's so many retirement properties available. I know, the annoying thing is around here, lots of houses are for sale, but it's retirement property only. And we're just like, why do why you, do you have to wait that long? Yeah, why do you reserve all the nice properties for old people? Like, young people want to enjoy themselves too. Yeah, perhaps they think that young people don't want to be here. Yeah, that's true. But they do. We do, we absolutely do. Yeah, nature's the new city, I think, yeah. isn't it? Look at mm. that doggy having a lovely time. Yeah. Looking at the motor museum over here, and can you see that mini just there at the bottom? That is covered in it, just looks so cool it looks like a garden, but it's, it's a mini. We're at the Cotswolds Perfumery now. This sign is so old worldy, it looks really cool. It looks like something out of Shrek. This is the visitor information center, guys, so it's got everything you need in there, and some very friendly people great service. There's a little pottery shop down here and they've got all the ancient old pottery. <laughs> I'll just say to Joel, I was, you know, if I was built in that time they wouldn't look at me and see like, she's a short girl. No, that is the perfect that. size door oh, for guys, you. Just pop in home then, thank you. Yeah. Joel, you'd have to go like that. Yeah, I'm a giant in the old days. Friendly giant. Friendly giant, that's me. Gentle giant. Gen yeah, yeah, that's gentle me. Gentle giant. Oh, don't mind him. Can yeah. I bring the giant in? She's a malicious midget. <laughs> I'm telling mum. Yeah, I'm telling mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, malicious, malicious midget. Bit of oh, what's this? Oh, it's a how something house. Are you able to find out what Harrington House is? Yeah, let's go have a look, guys. What is, I mean, to me, it looks haunted. Like maybe it was an old school or something. Yeah. Oh, country guest house. So you could oh, stay it here. It is a guest house. Okay. It does look a bit haunted, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like the one. No. Boot washing station. Boot wash. I, I wouldn't say. No. I wouldn't, guys. There's a lot nicer places. Yeah. Book the Joel and Nick cottage. Yeah, coming soon. <laughs> that looks something very Harry Potter-esque. <laughs> looks like Malfoy Manor or something. So here's Bakery on the Water, which apparently sells a very famous bakery item, cinnamon swirl. It's a cinnamon swirl they were talking about, and like, okay. get your cinnamon swirl and sit by the lake. Oh, wow. It does look It does nice. smell very nice. We've taken the basket out of that basket to stop it from littering in there. Oh gosh, humans are gross, aren't gross, they? Aren't they? Look how clear the water is. Let's see how warm it is. Oh, it's very cold, but it's lovely. I'd go for a paddle, I would, if people wouldn't stare at me. You know, the kids from the Cotswolds, Joel, their feet are made of different things. Yeah. So they can just They absorb all the stone. minerals, yeah. Good for them. Good and for them. I read online that um, it's a bit of a tradition here to play water football. Okay. And then lots of crowds gather. Yeah. I don't know quite how water football pans no, out. No, I don't I can't know. can't see any today, but it's, it's cool that that's a little tradition here in Bolton on Water. Okay. This plaque commemorates the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth. Long may she reign. Dogs can eat clotted cream. Clean fudge. So wow. Oh no, that's that's to say thank you for looking oh, after the dog. They've got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine if someone was as dumb as me and thought that yeah. was food. Luckily no one is. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone who's into watches, I wonder how old something has to be for it to be vintage, uh, antique rather. Or if it's is it even about age or is it about something else? Joel's looking for some nice antique books. Well, I collect Beatrix Potter's books, these old ones, but the annoying thing is, these have been packaged up so you're, I can't see what edition they are. Cause you can I'd ask. Be oh. but Do you want me to ask for you? Say, look, my brother's interested in these, can I see what's in the collection? I think we should just, they, why have they tied them up? Mm. I know. But maybe I'll, I might just risk it and get some. These are in good condition. 
add to my collection. I haven't bought so anything cute. for years. So cute. You're just, just so sweet. Coffee. He's getting a memento. I am. I am. I'm very warm in here. It's very warm, isn't it's it? It's very hot, but yeah, I'm pleased with this. Good. Um, Who'd have thought we'd find something for your collection? I and I haven't added to the collection for years, so I'm Good for pleased. you. Thank you. Good for you. It's really hard to say that without sounding sarcastic, but genuinely good for you. Thank you. Thanks. So okay. Much. Joel's just made a good point. So these are all old keys, they're five pounds each, but this is a really good thing. If you want a cool, quirky keychain, then you get to you can attach your actual keys to a big key. Yeah, so you can always find it, yeah. and also it just looks really cool. Yeah. Sometimes I just fail to believe that that would have opened a door. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder what would happen if you put that in a, in a um, Coca-Cola, if it would come out really sparkly. Probably. I was looking at the um, rings earlier, and I don't know if this is like a thing that other people say in their culture as well, but apparently if you wear someone else's ring, you like, you inherit what was of their marriage, so like if it ended badly, like that that curse could be on you. Not that divorce is a curse, like my parents are split up, but you know, you just like, I don't know, let me know if that exists in, in uh, have you heard that before, is what I'm saying. Is this like the most British thing ever, where's Wally? It's like a picture book and you have to find Wally. Gosh, it just reminds me of my childhood. So what's your first impressions then, or last impressions of Bought on the Water? it's really, it's like, it's a hidden gem. It yeah. seems as if if you know it's here, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna come, but it's busier than I thought. It's very, very what busy, and this is Monday, so this isn't even the weekend. No joke, we're walking around going, why is everyone here? I know, why, aren't, why, why isn't everyone at work? <laughs> but yeah. yeah, it's blooming boiling, so it we're is. gonna go into Londis here and get some water. It's like the most ordinary shop of all the shops. Yeah, yeah. but of course it's a Londis. It's Londis. Right, water stop done, sparkling for me. Still for me. Cheers. I'm not fancy. She's not fancy. Let's find a nice spot. Yeah, we're gonna water. sit by the water. We could even dangle our feet in. A lot of people do do that. Yeah. Oh, I missed oh, the okay, curve. Okay. Should we sit over there where there's a play yeah, patch? Where there's that Lovely. It seems to be the place to be today. Yeah, it does, what? doesn't it? This spot's got our name on it. The shoes have come off. In we go. Oh, that is nice, guys. That is so nice. No, sorry, I'm smelling. I found this on my shoe and this on my sock, and I'm trying to figure out if it's chocolate or, or poo. Chocolate or poo? What is it? I can't tell. It's the new YouTube challenge. Chocolate or poo? Chocolate or poo? Chocolate, surely. <gasps> that dog shoe. looks like Ava. So cute. So the thing is, there's only a population of just over 3,000 people in Bourne on the Water, which means that you can pretty much guarantee everyone here is a tourist. And I've just noticed as well that on the fourth Sunday of every month, there's a farmer's market. So maybe if we'd come yesterday, there would have been a lovely farmer's market for us to have a look around. So shame we missed it. But I don't know if that was the fourth Sunday of the month. So mm. anyway, it's a lovely village. Absolutely lovely. Mm. What do you think? It's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's cold. Even though it's boiling today, that is cold. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <That's> so cold. <laughs> See why people do that. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, out. lovely, lovely. Wharton on the Water has got so many attractions. You've got the Cotswolds Motoring Museum, Birdland, the Model Village, you've got the Model Railway, the Dragonfly Maze, Pottery, Perfumery, the Cotswolds Brewing Company, Greystones Farm, you've got horse riding tours, a shooting range, there's so many great gift shops as well and loads of space to eat and drink so that's probably why it's so popular. Yeah, everyone loves it. Everyone absolutely loves it. And now it. we do too. The dogs love it. We are you enjoyed that guys? Our day has come to an end. Um, where to next Joel? We don't know, literally we've got some time to go maybe pop by somewhere else. Yes. We don't know where we're headed but that is the end of the Bought and On The Water video. Yeah, how are your feet feeling? Nice They're okay, cool. yeah, nice and cool, dipped in the water. It was a bit too cold, if anything. Really? But you know, I was moaning about everything, really. Yeah, it's nothing good enough for us. Nothing. No, nothing no. is. But except Bought and On The Water was a success. It I'd recommend really everyone to nice. come here. Highly recommend the mint choc chip from the local ice cream seller as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Stunning. Yes. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe, see you soon. See you soon. Bye.